Saturday morning, I gave a brief introduction of, of Weekend AI to the EPFL people. So today, I asked Jan to introduce EPFL CIS to Weekend people. So Jan prepared a nice presentation. So before starting the first talk, I give you an introduction to CIS. Thank you very much. Thank you. So welcome for the second day. We are really looking forward to, I think, another 11 exceptional presentations. Uh, so let me start. So upon popular request yesterday, just a couple of slides to give you an idea about the set of intelligent systems, who was involved in, in bringing you all in and who was uh, helping promoting discussions since 2020, right? So I must have to know me now if you've been yesterday to the dinner. So I'm Jan Kerschkens, I'm the executive director of the center. Uh, Professor Pierre van der Gains is the academic director. He's not with us today. He says his greetings. The Center for Intelligent Systems is a joint initiative at EPFL of all five faculties, ranging from architecture to informatics, basic sciences, engineering, and life sciences. And when we started in 2020, the mandate was to build a common roof for colleagues that work on machine learning, AI, and robotics. We've done so by launching research pillars. I've listed them here. I come back to them in, in a couple of slides. But the mission is really we have a research center. We help to advance uh, the, the state of the art intelligent systems. We try so by enhancing the collaboration across campus, across the different, I, I dare say, silos of the faculties that sometimes exist. We try so by initiating ambitious collaborative projects, really aiming to construct intelligent systems. And we also, last but not least, act as a point of contact and collaboration for the Swiss industry. And something dear to my heart, we try also to help the talents coming out of the labs if they, if they feel like they want to try and do a startup. A unique point of contact, uh, so we recently counted, so it's five faculties, 85 associated labs, many of them you've met, well, quite some of them you've met, not many, some of them you've met yesterday and you will meet today. Uh, we counted like the PhD postdocs students, so we had 650 plus researchers uh, combined uh, within these 85 labs. We think it's a vibrant community. We had uh, in uh, 2022 alone 43 events and talks with uh, more than 950 attendees. Uh, we have a strong international network where we, where we try to, to partner with uh, friends and colleagues either in Japan or in Europe. Uh, and so that's, these are great opportunities to, to come together and, and discuss great science. The research programs, really quickly just to give you an idea. So we brought people together behind the idea of AI for healthcare with a focus on, on, on the heart. Uh, we further uh, launched a project on intelligent assistive robotics. Another one deals with the topics of edge AI. This is also nicely embedded in the European project. Uh, the fourth one deals with the aspects of digital twin. In this, this case, for real-time monitoring of anomaly detection of a complex system. And last but not least, this is brand new. There are two more. This has not been yet publicly announced, but one on AI for molecular design and one on AI for environmental processes. Some initiatives just to highlight. So there's also the EPFL AI for Science initiative where we contribute strongly with the center. Uh, so it's, it's AI for science and science for AI. Uh, and DigiProject is a European project uh, that we could help bring together in 2020. So how to engage with us? Well, we are academic partners. So for us, it's easy. But if we speak to the outside world, like industry, so they, they do not really know how to interact with the research university. So this is why I put this slide. I said, well, first of all, we'd like to learn, right? What are your problems? But for you, this could also help to scout actually what types of technologies are available within a Swiss research university in front of your feet. Uh, we have really unique events. Some examples we've listed here. This range from a two-day event on digital twins with industry startups and academia partners, uh, a great uh, mirror event for NeurIPS. Where actually, we did the real session before the Zoom session on site, which was great. Uh, we had a fantastic AI for Science Day uh, last year, where we assembled more than 120 people on campus to discuss the different approaches of the labs uh, to this topic. And we also do these deep dives, where we actually strategically try to promote exchange between uh, colleagues in individual faculties with the other faculties. And last end of last year, it was uh, AI in life sciences, which was a fantastic one-day event. So. We are really interested in continuing our discussion, and we are really happy to have you here today, and I wish us all a great day. Thank you. Thank you.